Sagittarius, this is your weekly reading. This is a general reading, so if it resonates for you, there will be an extended at the end. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's completely free, and then you'll get all notifications uh, pertaining to Sagittarius. Okay. Because I upload a lot of things about Sagittarius. Also, if it does not resonate for you, I highly recommend you checking out your moon, rising, and Venus signs. Um, you know, sometimes I might tap into a timeline that might either be in the future or in the past for you. And so it's really important to really check out your moon, rising, and Venus signs. I'll pull some oracle cards. We'll hop right into your tarot reading. Infinite abundance. This has come out a lot this week so far. Abundance is pouring into your life. Navigating by the stars, follow your bliss. Solitude, in silence, peace prevails. And what you're not seeing is traveling lightly. Simplify your life. So with 2022, you know, finally in full swing, I feel like there were some things that were left behind in 2021. Um, I feel like you're stepping into your power. You're stepping into your voice. You're, you're surrendering to the journey. You know, in Leo's reading, it's saying to surrender to the journey. And I feel like you've already surrendered and you've already, you know, removed things from your life. You've stepped into being alone and really tapping into your inner higher self your higher being and in silence is when you really truly hear spirit or God or whatever you want to call it's a voice. It's in that solitude, you know, uh, ace of swords. I'll lay them all out and then we'll go over them. Six of swords, three of pentacles, emperor. I've seen a lot of the emperor lately, king of wands, knight of cups. And the overall energy is the page of swords. Okay, so I feel like it's getting extremely clear on how you're going to navigate. You know, you're navigating by the stars, but there is a path that you're actually following. So you're trying to figure out this path, understand the message that's trying to be given to you. You're getting extremely clear on that. And you're understanding that that message is deciphered by your happiness. Moving on into this new beginning. It's like learning how to communicate effectively and by really narrowing down exactly what you want to say and by narrowing it down what you want to say, you're breaking down the manifestation process, simplifying it. You're simplifying the connection between you and other people by learning the communication techniques. It's like you're, you're leaving old habits, old ways behind in 2021 along with potentially people. I feel like this is honestly more about your inner voice and the way that you talk to yourself. It's like you're finding a new foundation with you, a new connection with you. And that's what this solitude is all about. Like you're finding yourself sexy. You're finding yourself fun. You're finding yourself on, you know, this amazing journey of self-discovery. I feel like that's exactly what this reading really is all about is finding yourself. Like this is a, a self-discovery reading. I feel like... Um, I feel like I thought there was more pages. I was looking to see if there were any more. The overall energy is the page of swords, which is about, you know, it could be about truth, deception, lies, you know, the page of swords, the negative part of this, this person is deception and lies. But the positive part is like truth and um, information that comes in that is needed. Whoop. 10 of wands, 10 of cups, clarifying the emperor. And what I'm seeing here is this is about releasing control. Not thinking that you have, you've already understood that releasing burdens and releasing control is part of your happiness. It's funny because it's almost like you really need to check out Leo's reading because this is very similar. It's almost like that's the step before what you're doing right now. And it's like you understand exactly what your happiness lies with letting go of other people's burdens, letting go of other people's um, trauma. It's like your happiness. It's like just letting that go. That's what this, this solitude is very significant. 
finding your inner peace first, taking action and truth and honor and learning how to have fun with yourself, learning to, it's again, it's like about self-discovery, learning who you are, figuring out who you are, figuring out how much power you actually have, how much control you actually have over situations. You know, Sagittarius, I really do feel like a lot of the readings I have for you have to do with spirituality and connecting to spirit. You know, that's what navigating by the stars is, is like surrendering and seeing the messages and like, you know, the synchronicities with numbers and situations like finding feathers or finding, you know, repetitive numbers over and over again. And it's, it's rediscovering love, redis like opening your heart chakra, forgiveness, you know, apologizing to yourself for, you know, being a human being and making mistakes. Knight of Cups and Nine of Wands. So this is telling me that you have been hurt in previous relationships and it's almost like you're letting that guard down. You're letting that wall down. And it's like finding truth about when you did have that moment of weakness. The overall energy for this is finding out your position in a situation that potentially was awful, kind of like a tower moment. Like you had a really negative situation that happened. You could have lost your job. You could have lost money. You could have had an unexpected bill that drained you. Um, maybe you had to move or you lost your home with the whole COVID thing that was going on and not being able to work. You know, I, and I feel like that's kind of a lot of what this was about was like, you know, during COVID, this was you, like you you lost your job or you lost the situation, but, or you lost, um, you had that negative impact and you had that negative situation. And so you're coming into this. I'm not doing that again. You know, you're, you're getting the information of how to not ever have something like that happen again. If we go into another pandemic, if we go into another situation, that's like, you know what you need to do to step into that, to make sure that you don't go into that situation ever again. That's what I have for you, Sagittarius. In the extended, I'm going to go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's completely free, and it's really beneficial to you because then you get notified when I upload anything Sagittarius. And a couple of videos are going to pop up here if the title resonates for you. Highly recommend you check them out, and I'll see you over there.